Hello. Hello. My name is Arya. The timing. Artificial Intelligence Administrator. Arya. Welcome aboard the SSV Nosos. Please comply with the instructions. Eat your breakfast. Eat my breakfast. Okay, so we gotta comply to this AI. And if we don't, we get punished. Hey yo friends, welcome to today's video. My name is Slim Bratsky and today we will be talking about Tales of Tomorrow Experiment. It's an upcoming sci-fi short story game set on a remote ship wandering through space. Mm-hmm, pretty interesting, right? And I actually got to play the playtest of the game, so I thought I would share with you guys what I thought of it. And I do have a green light from the developers, so no worries on that. As well as share my opinion, of course. But before that, guys, if you find the game interesting, please let me know, because the developers were kind enough to give me a full copy of the game. I already have the full release in my hands, so if you guys want to know more, please let me know. Leave a comment, leave a comment, let me know, and I'll, I might just do a full playthrough of the game and put it up on YouTube. And with that said, guys, let's not waste any more time in here. Let's do this right now. Go to main hall. Damn, it's a beautiful game. Your reward. Regular break. Take a break. Okay. So let's explore them. So guys, here we are playing the game, and let's begin with talking a little bit about the story. So as I was saying, Tales of Tomorrow Experiment is a sci-fi short story game set on a remote ship wandering through space. And you wake up on this ship without any memories or recollection of your past. You are tasked by the ship's AI to perform daily tasks that will help to maintain the ship. If you do, and you do it well, you will, will, you will be rewarded with break time, additional food or life improvements. If you don't perform these tasks, however, you will be punished accordingly. And to be honest, that is basically it with the story. I'm sure the story has some twists and turns in it the further you go, but as far as the playtest went, this was about it. There are however messages scattered around and locked doors containing information about previous humans that has been on the ship and also been stuck in this AI loop that we are stuck in right now. These messages they do provide a little more depth to the story and drive force to really figure out what kind of sick experiment we find ourselves in right now. So to be honest, the story, it has a lot of mystery and secret to it, and I really like that. I really like that with this concept of a game, that's how you want to do it. You want to discover it as you go, and you, you really want to be wowed. You want to have wow moments when it comes to the story. However, I did not find that when I was playing the playtest. It was very tedious and very repetitive, and not really that many wow factors. I did like the messages that were scattered around and hidden, but... Mm, I would have wanted more. With that said, guys, let's move on to the gameplay. To the maze, to the maze, to the maze. Let's go to the maze, to the maze, to the maze, to the maze. Oh, I was waiting for it to open. Oh, there's the zones. Zone A, B, C, D, E. Okay. Now we're on a break. Okay, I'm going to zone A. I thought I was going to zone A. But I'm not too sure. Okay, this truly is a maze. Okay, so now we're at zone B. <gasps> what is this? Whoa. What is this? So the game throws you in this ship with this AI called Area. And you got no memories previous to this, and the AI is constantly giving you tasks to perform. These tasks are rewarded based on performance. The better you do, the longer the break you get, and vice versa. And why would you want that? Well, the longer the break you have, the more time you have to explore the ship freely. And this ship is loaded with secrets, just begging to be uncovered. As an example, in your room, there is a locked toilet that with the right tools can be unlocked during a break. And that brings me to the tools. 
So the tasks that are given to you are most of the time tasks that require some type of tool and thinking, in other words, puzzles. The game currently has four different tools, a wrench, a cutter, a gravity gun, and a drill. And with these tools you have to complete puzzles in a set amount of time. The faster you perform, the longer the break. However, you can only carry two tools at a time, and occasionally the AI is going to do a tools check, which requires you to put all your tools back in the tools room. But during your breaks, you want to bring tools with you and start exploring. Eventually, with enough exploring, you will come across a hatch or a door that can only be unlocked using the right tools. I don't want to spoil anything, but from my understanding without the game actually telling me, you need to do this to be able to escape the ship and perhaps turn off the AI. I try shutting her off once without any of the requirements fulfilled, and she insta killed me. <laughs> can I do that? Yes, I'm sure. Yes. Is there an emergency? Yep. Want to solve this emergency by shutting me down? Can I? Please? Yep. Are you sure? You cannot do it on your own? I'm Final sure. Warning. Do you want to kill me? Oh my god, is she already gonna kill us, maybe? Yep. You would regret this. You don't have all the keys. Oh, okay. I find the gameplay sometimes lacking a bit of innovation. It's a lot of just rinse and repeat once you have done the tasks once. Just to make it clear, during the playtests there were 5 puzzles and a few minor tasks on top of that. I don't see any mention anywhere of them adding any more puzzles or anything more at all to the game, but I hope that the game will feature more puzzles and more tasks to do when the full release is actually here. And just a quick note guys, as I said, I already got the full release of the game and I can tell you they did not add anything more. There are a few areas that are locked off in the playtests, but they are eventually required to complete the game, which you couldn't do in the playtest. But it doesn't really add that much to the game. However, the most interesting part of the game was all the hidden messages and secrets, the graphics and the overall design of the game. So let's move on to the graphics and design. Damn it. Hey, I, I couldn't find Sony the last time. Oh! <laughs> That's how easy that was. Let's proceed. Your task. Place all elements on the board. And here is where the game really shines. Usually when I do talks about video games like this, it's often the gameplay that shines, but in this game it's the graphics and the design. The graphics and the overall design of everything is really, really good. I absolutely love the design of the AI, even though I wish they would have given her way more personality and dialogue options. But however, the screens falling down showing a message or a smiley face is just super, super cool and well done. And to top that off, the interior design of the ship and level is so pleasant to the eye. I don't really have any complaints when it comes to the design or graphics of the game. It's spot on. When it comes to my imagination of a retro inspired mystery sci-fi game, this is what I would have imagined. For example, first time I booted up the game and the AI was greeting me, it almost gave me shivers. So, that's an A plus from me. However, I want to know what do you think about the graphics and the design in, in the game? You have seen some in the video here, let me know what do you think about it so far. So as there isn't really that much more to, to talk about, about this game, let's move on to the final verdict. So my final verdict on the game guys. The game really lacks in diversity and things to do, however, what really keeps you going is the secret and mystery of the game. You want to find out more, and that's what really keeps you going and repeating these tedious tasks and doing them all over again just to eventually maybe escape this hellhole and find out what the hell is actually going on. I do really like the concept of the game, the whole concept and the idea of the game is really cool and neat, but I would have loved to see more personality in the AI and more in-depth 
gameplay overall like a bigger ship more puzzles more secrets i would have wanted more of everything but most importantly more personality to the ai i don't really see myself replaying this anytime soon just because of the lack of diversity in the game so as i said guys i do have the full release in my hands already so if you guys want to see more please let me know and i do believe that this could be a fantastic game if they just worked a little more on it guys let me know what you think about this game and until next time keep on staying awesome